G'day and welcome. This is the second video. Well, good day again. This is the latest radio that's arrived. It's a Bofeng K63. It's a tri-band radio and it has a 2,600 milliamp battery in it. So let's have a look and see what's in the box. The radio can come in yellow or green. You can see mine is green and there's a yellow one beside it so you can get an idea of what each one looks like. There we go, that's what I got in my box. You can customise a little bit what you want that's in colours. So got the drop-in charger, battery, radio, earplug, microphone, wristband and manual. We've seen what's in the box let's have a look at the actual radio and the manual so the manual is a typical bofang manual uh, it's got all the instructions in it that you'd need and is 34 pages long it's got a qr code on the back too that you can use to scan for more help so the radio will transmit between 144 megahertz and 148 as well as 420 and 450. However, it's slightly different if you're in the Can if you get the Canadian version. So, looking down the left side of the radio, we have the PTT button here. Uh, it's, they call it the SK1 programmable button here. By default, it does the torch and alarm. And this is SK2 programmable key as well. By default, it does the radio and monitor. On the top we've got where you plug in your antenna, and wrote the dial here. It's got a good stopper here too, so it can't be bumped easily. And then uh, LED in the middle there. And on the front we've got the screen. We've got the difference between uh, VFO and memory mode. I can press this button here and it'll jump between VFO A and VFO B. This button here is the sweep key. And then you've got the normal buttons down here as per most Bofang radios. So looking at the screen now, see here it says at the top here, DW. That's because dual watch is enabled. Here we've got the channel mode here, memory channel there. So when I hit the up arrow, 14. it says channel 14. 15. And I can switch to the top channels there. 18. I switch to VFO mode. Frequency mode. We're in frequency mode there. And I can go up and down by frequencies like that with the up and down arrows. So a couple of normal things. This button here, press and hold, will lock the radio. Lock. And you can see the padlock is displayed there. Press and hold it again. Unlock. And it's unlocked and you press the star Z to start scanning. Scanning begin. And you can see it's scanning. And it's scanning because we're in VFO mode. Whereas if I did it scanning start. in memory mode, mode, it'll now scan the memories. Scanning begin. Up the top here is a status LED. So when you're transmitting, it goes red like that. When you're receiving, it'll go green. So you can see here we're on dual watch, DW. If I press and hold the AB button, it's now in single mode. So I can still jump between A and B by lightly pressing it, but I'll only receive one. The other one I won't receive at all, even if the first one isn't receiving. If I press and hold it again, I'm now entirely on single mode. A lot of people find this simpler because clearly that's a fr frequency or memory channel you're receiving and transmitting on. I press it again and hold it in. I go back to dual watch. So here you can see I'm in memory mode. If I change that to VFO mode, I can now type in a frequency that I may want to go to. So let's type in 4380000. Now I'm on that frequency, just as simple as that. You can see I'm 
PTTing there. Haven't got the antenna plugged in, but I'm still able to PTT. So here you can see I've got A on VFO and B on memory mode. So what's the difference? Well, VFO mode, I can type in a frequency like that. I can put on tone squelch and, and everything I want to do. You can see I'm on high power. Once I'm happy with that, I can save that in a memory like this one here, channel 16 is in a memory. And then all the settings that I've just done is saved in that channel and then it's set up. So usually you type everything in or program it via a computer and then save it to the memory channel. So most likely you'll be in memory mode most of the time. So in memory mode, you can go up and down channels like that and you can still edit them. See this one's got DCS on it. This is just how the radio arrived. I haven't programmed any of these. All of them on high, high power. And then I can press and hold the Z key and it should start scanning those memories. As I haven't got the antenna plugged in, I'm probably not going to pick up much. So as I said before, there's two buttons on here, number one and two. If I press number one lightly, it'll go into FM mode. Press as in FM commercial radio. If I press it again, it'll come back. If I press and hold it, it'll start flashing there. And with the volume up, sounds an alarm. Press and hold it again, and it turns it off. Similar with the second button here, I can press it, turns the light on. If I press and hold it, you get the open squelch so you can hear maybe a distant station. So when we go to put in repeaters, if you want to hear the input of the repeater, you can just press the star key and that'll take you to the input of the repeater rather than the output of the repeater. Well, so while you're pressing the PTT button, usually press it like that. Just remember the microphone is actually there. You don't want to cover that up with your finger or anything like that. It's a little bit hard to do that, but quite easy to hold like that. So you can see here we're receiving a signal on 438, but I don't know if there's any tone squelch associated. So what I can, what I can do is press this button and hold it down. Now it's doing a search, a seek. It's found the frequency that it's on and it says that there is no tone squelch associated with it. So the radio does have weather radio and weather channels. We don't have that here in Australia, so I can't really test it, but if you hold the zero down, on. there we go. It gives you the weather channels and you can change between them all. Those frequencies and information is here in the book as well. So looking at the menu system now, all you've got to do is press the menu button. Menu. And then if I press the up and down arrows, it'll take me through each menu item. You can see there's a little number. So if I want to go back to memory 00, zero I can just press 0 and it'll take me straight there. I want to go to menu item number 3. There it is there. Or number five. There it is there. So you can use the shortcut buttons here. So as I mentioned before, you can press and hold the hash key with the little Z there to scan. There are actually three different types of scan modes. If you press menu and go to menu item number 19, one nine, you can see the scan mode here. You press menu again it takes you down here and you can edit it. So CO stands for carrier operation. It'll stop scanning once it detects a signal. There's TO mode. TO mode is time operations. So the radio will stop scanning after it detects a signal and then after a preset time, it'll resume scanning no matter what. CO means that the scanner stops when it detects a signal and then after preset time with no signal, it then resumes scanning. That's the mode I usually use. Or you can go SE, where the scanner will stop scanning once it detects a signal. And then you can hold and press the hash key to resume scanning. 
So I won't go through all the menu items, but menu number 16 is pretty cool. You just press menu there and what it will do, it'll scan the CTSS and tell you what is being transmitted. And if you go to menu item number 17, you can scan the DCS. Yeah, and show you how you do it just using the radio, not the computer. So first thing is I'm going to delete one of the memory channels. So I'm going to go memory 14, which is delete. So I'll press menu to select that. I'll change this to memory number 10. There we go. I'm on memory number 10 and I'll press enter on that. Now go into the menu again and I'll go menu uh, 05 and we want to change that just oh let's go 88.5 and we'll press enter on that so you can see now i'm in memory mode and when i go memory channel number nine and press one up it goes to memory channel 11 that's because we deleted memory channel number 10. i'll go to vfo vfo and then i can type in my frequency There we are, we've got the frequency in there now. So there's our frequency there in VFO mode. We want to save that now. So I'll press memory. I'm gonna to go to memory option 13, which is the memory channel there. I'll press enter. I could type in or I can just scroll up to memory channel number 10 and then press memory on that one. And there we go, it should be saved. There's, it is in memory number 10. So we've got memory number 11, 10 now and nine, and there it is there, with the right tone squelch that we set earlier. Memory number 12 is a good one too. That's where you set your offset when you're programming repeaters. Shift direction, whether you a plus or minus, that's where you, whether you're high or low power. Bandwidth, you can choose whether you're wide or narrow. If you go into menu item 34, here you can change it from logo to message or voltage. I'm going to change it to message. Confirm. And then if I go to power th menu option 36, it's got a uh, message there. So let's see if it works. There we go, it does. So I'm going to do a test now on the radio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a um, frequency for four, seven, seven, zero, zero, zero. So I'm going to go to that frequency there, which is actually a CB frequency here in Australia. And I'm going to talk to my daughter because we're out in the bush here. There's not much around. So hello, hello. Can you hear me? How well can you hear me? Great. Oh, you're sounding very clear too. Do I sound clear? Yep. There we go. Daughter of many words. Very clear. I'm happy with that. Don't forget to purchase the radio at the colour that you like. Remember, they come in two different colours. Don't forget, in the description of this video, there is actually a discount link. So if you're keen to buy one, have a look at the discount link. This is my second video on this radio. So if you haven't seen the first one, make sure you look at that. And I do hope to do a third video when I get home, because at the moment I'm away. And then I'll test it through some meters and things and see how it goes there. Don't forget to look at our website. There's heaps more radio information there. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. Hope to talk to you on the air one day soon.